Anthony, how do you kind of process a game where you guys played so well defensively except for whatever, two plays? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not good enough. Um, you know, we talked about being elite defense, and uh, part of that is not giving the offense anything, um, making them earn everything. And we felt like we gave them a couple plays that they didn't earn, you know, that we kind of gifted them. Um, and it's not okay. So we got, we got a long way to go. What about um, the way that you guys handled Christian McCaffrey? For the most part, were you pretty happy with how that went? Yeah, for the most part, um, we let a couple plays get out. Uh, the screen pass, um, the one when uh, the ball just kind of bobbles around in the backfield, he picks it up and you know gets 20, 20 30 yards. Um, you know, for the most part, we was able to do you know a good job on him. But uh, again, we want to you know kind of we kind of we want to suffocate a team and you know put put any energy that they have away. And uh, we gave we gave them life, and uh, that's why they were able to be be in the game so long. Joe Flacco's been doing this for a long time, and. Uh, at a high level. Like, I know sometimes you got to take like week one with a with a grain of salt when you're looking at someone on film, but mm -hmm. just the challenges that he presents as a quarterback to, yeah. to you in the defense. Obviously, that experience. Um, they they run a good system over there. A lot of shifts in motion, similar to you know what what our offense does. So um, you know we have to be kind of on our p's and q's. Um, this is like a a rules game for us where we just got to execute what we do. Um, which is, you know, I can say that every week, but a little bit more this week um, with the things that they do. But uh, like you said, that experience that he has is uh, very cru for them, crucial for them. What do you mean more specifically this week, these, the rules you're referring to? What are, you, what are you talking about for this week? Yeah, just alignment assignment. Um, you know, a lot of alignments this week, you know, a lot of jet motions, a lot of jog motions, whatever it is that they do, a lot of shifts and everything like that that they do with the tight ends. So, um, yeah, just getting into the right – alignment after the play, you know, they'll put you in one formation, shift you to another. So we just have to, you know, be able to move to the right gaps and stuff like that. The game in Carolina was emotional. Five days from that play. Steelers coming in on a short week. Is there a lot of talk about just the Jets? Uh, yeah, that's our focus right now, just the Jets this week. Um, you know, we can only play one game at a time, and uh, right now it's the Jets. And uh, I don't know who we play the week after, and I don't know who we played before, so. How do you make sure that those couple of Mistakes, breakdowns that happen Sunday don't happen again. Yeah, just clean it up. Um, it starts on the practice field and the walkthroughs, um, going over those plays, um, and knowing, just knowing that we're doing our job. You know, um, like I said, you can't gift the team, you know, points. You know, you just can't do it. And uh, you know, you you're able to go up 14 nothing. You got to be able to put that game away, um, and we weren't able to do that. So I think a lot of guys feel the same way in this locker room that defensively we know how good we can be, but you got to go out there and execute it 60 minutes. Yeah. Just, can you speak to just you know what the job they did against Carolina? Yeah, um, lights out. Uh, the 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 whole front, front four, seven, eight, nine, ten of those guys that played um, all did a great job. Um, you know, you talk about Miles playing. You know the way he he's known to play. Uh, JD playing great. Taven, all those guys. Jordan Elliott, um, all those guys that played um, were able to make a huge impact in the game. And, um, you know, when a quarterback doesn't have all day to throw the ball, uh, it makes our job a lot easier in the back end. Is it possible to sustain that level of pressure an entire season? <laughs> when you got 95 and 90 coming off the edge, it makes, uh, it, makes it very ha possible to happen. So. When you see Nick Chubb run the ball, like he does, yeah. are you ever just happy that you don't have to tackle? Oh, no doubt about it. Um, you know, I even said it when, we, when I was in Indy and we, were, we had to play Cleveland and he wasn't playing that week. I, was, I knew we had to play Kareem, but still, you don't have to play both of them. It's, it makes the job a lot easier. What, as, as, a def as a defender, obviously, again, you don't have to go against him, but when the Browns, when Chubb and Hunt are in the backfield together, yeah. if you had to face that, what kind of problems does that cause? Just, uh, again, you, you rotating a fresh back, you know, that I consider a top five back in the league with another fresh back that's top five, top ten in the league. So um, that's that's very tough to deal with. You know, one guy coming at you every play to hit with everything that he has, and then he gets tired. The next guy comes in, he's coming at you with everything that he has. And, you know. One of the best old lines, um, you know, all the different shifts and motions that we use to put defenses in, you know, not advantageous positions. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough to deal with. <laughs> I think not to belabor this point I've been asking you about, but last year you guys had some great downs early, some fuzzy coverages, and then cleaned it up, um, you know, second half of the season. Yeah. What gives you confidence that you can get it cleaned up a lot faster and it's not going to be an issue? 
Yeah, we, we know. We, uh, we understand what, what it was. You know, I think, you know, the guys understand in the room, you know, what, what it was and the communication that it was and, you know, the quick, easy fix. Like, we fixed it on the sideline right away. So um, we didn't have to, you know, linger on it, you know, two weeks, three weeks in. You know, it's, you know, one easy fix that everybody knows. So um, I think that's just familiarity with, with the system and, you know, guys just being more comfortable around each other. Knowing uh, Jacoby the way you do, mm -hmm. um, just what did you think of him in his first Browns game, and then how did it hit you to see that, uh, you know, how emotional he was afterwards? Yeah, I heard he cried. That's crazy. It's a uh, I thought we won a Super Bowl, so now I'm playing. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I know the the work that he puts in to you know put us in 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 positions to win and put himself in positions to be ready when his numbers call. Um, obviously, career. You know, a lot of ups and downs for him and, um, you know, just happy that he's able to, you know, find a way to put one, you know, in a win column. And I think, uh, and I told him this is my first time and probably his first time outside of his first year in New England where we started the season 1-0, and you know, and that's huge. You know, I, I've always been 0-1 since I've been in the NFL. So to get that first win is uh, pretty crucial, and I think that's, that's another emotional aspect of it for him, you know, just, you know, getting that first one under your belt, no matter how you do it, just get it done. And uh, yeah, I think, like I said, just a lot of ups and downs, you know, with, with throughout his career that kind of built up that emotion.